Hi there, this is NikitaNet and what's on the bench today is a CPU cooler and we're going to deep clean this dirty dusty thing. So what you need is your cooler, detach all electronics and dismantle any type of brackets as far as you can. So I've got the cooler and some very specific mounting hardware. This is an old cooler, but I am going to keep it in stock. So you need that, the mounting hardware, you need a bucket, you need compressed air, some detergent, dishwashing, I'm using Neutral. You need some gloves, denatured alcohol, and some cotton beauty pads to basically clean this side off properly. Now, you've got two options. Either you've got a compressor, and you don't need this can of air. And if you don't, you do need it, but you also need some distilled water. Yes, I've got a five liter jug, I would say, right here. I won't use it because I've got a compressor, but there's a clear reason for that that I'll explain in this video. So let's clear this off and get started. So this entire process consists of three steps. It is the general air cleaning, it's the in-depth water bath with detergent and then it's the drying off and well detailed cleaning of this thing. So I am going to go outside, use my compressor to blow off all this nasty dust and then we're going to prepare the water bath. So we've air dusted the entire thing, but you can see there is still some muck on here. So we need the bucket and in that bucket we are going to put a proper helping of detergent. Yes, it's not going to be in there very long, about, well, 10 minutes, but you do need to have it nicely soapy since all those nasty particles have to, well, slip off. So let's fill this thing with scalding hot water. So if you do this, please be wary that you are using extremely hot water. And with the scalding hot water prepared, I am going to dunk in this thing partly to get any type of well, nastiness loose as best we can before dropping it in completely. And ouch, this is extremely hot. And of course, this thing being metal, it conducts the heat quite well. So that's done. Now I'm going to drop it in. Be careful with that. And after that, we're also going to drop in these items as well. Don't put any electronics or computer case fans or fans specific for your cooling solution in here. You'll ruin it. So having waited five minutes, I am going to grab it. Swirl it around a little. Yes. And put it in like that so we can soak it for another five minutes so as you can see it's quite clean right now i am going to run this thing under the tap and use compressed air to blow off any water that's on there that's very important now if you don't have compressed air you do really need to first run it under the tap then rinse out this bucket or your bucket in your case and put in an ample helping of distilled water simply for the fact that you don't want any salts or any contaminants from your main water supply to stay on well your cooler while it's air drying and still then you do need to after using the distilled water use some compressed air from a can to blow off as much as you can. 
So as you can see right now, it's quite clean. However, I am seeing some water spots on, for example, this well contact plate, which will contact the CPU. So as you can see, we've zoomed in a little bit, right? And uh, let's grab a couple of these cotton beauty pads. Put a little bit of alcohol on here. And I am going to show you the water spots. And that's really the reason why you need to use the mineralized, well, water to prevent that. So, always put the cap right back on there. And no, it's not screwed on. But as you can see right here, there are water spots. And this one is quite wet. So, let's dry it off a little bit. We can get those right off, hopefully at least. Those deposits are from your tap water. Now this is of course not only an old cooler, but also a second-hand cooler. An old second-hand cooler. So it won't get perfect, but we can get close. Close enough at least. And let's take a look at the sides. Right. Just a little wipe is all it needs. And even though we've got quite, well, one could say contaminated but safe tap water. And with that I mean it has a lot of minerals and salts in there. You can get nice results. I'm guessing I can't really get this 100% clean. But it is quite nice and spiffy as it is. And if you are finicky about that, well, you can use after this cleaning a little bit of demineralized water to try and get this off as well. Oh yes, I did go back over it with a little bit of that demineralized water, which helped. But it is clean, it is dust free, and we are going to make it lint free, right? With this. So, this thing is done. These are very nice as well. Um, you won't get them back in new state, but you will make them very nicely serviceable. There's one caveat in regards to that. If you've got one with a, well, a fan mounted to it via a custom bracket and not a generic, uh, well, piece of wire, right, metal wire, then you're out of luck if that fan is bad. You'll have to buy most likely an entire new cooling block. And this, what we've done, is not worth the effort at all, right? Just one of those things you have to deal with and that's why personally I only buy CPU cooling blocks that have exchangeable or swappable or replaceable fans. Not likely case fans in a specific size with of course PWM if the motherboard allows that. So this is Nikita Net saying I hope you found this video interesting like or dislike this video at your pleasure of course subscribe to the channel and if you do subscribe to the channel don't forget to click the bell so you get updates from this channel this is Nikita and that's saying thanks for watching and uh, bye bye